what's it going to be like playing this four night? Uh, I'm, I'm super excited. Um, going to be a, a lot of anxiousness, a lot of nerves, um, but I'm super excited to be back home playing. Uh, I see exactly where my season tickets have been for the last nine, ten years, so um, I'm, I'm super excited to be here. How many people wanted tickets for me tonight? Oh, a lot, a lot. Um, tried to uh, help as many people as I could, um, but uh, I know it's going to be a lot of people here for me tonight. Have you ever played a game in here before? No, I've never played a game in here. Uh, I've only just been in here. Uh, I've shot around a few times before and never played a game. Though. How do you get mentally set up to go up against uh, Russell Westbrook? You've seen him play a million times, and now it's one-on-one -on -one here. Yeah, no, it's, uh, I mean, it's going to be fun. Um, I mean, he's one of the top point guards in the league, so got to be ready to play. Uh, I mean, been watching him for a long time, so uh, I'm super excited to play. Uh, we're going to compete and, uh, and have fun. Trey, what's been the, the toughest adjustment for you so far uh, in your rookie season? I mean, there's a lot of new things uh, coming from college to the NBA. Uh, I mean, 82 games, um, back to backs. Um, the pace of the game is, is, is different. I think those are the main things for me. It's just really the pace of the game, too, uh, is the main difference for me. What do you think you've excelled at? What do you think you've kind of struggled with so far? Uh, I mean, struggling, I think it's, I mean, it's obvious. My, my, my three ball hasn't been falling uh, as much as I wanted it to. Um, that's going to come. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, really just, uh, I think I'm, I've got, done a great job of getting my teammates involved. I've uh, been a, a really good leader and just, I mean, competing on um, both ends of the floor. What does Coach Pierce tell you about the defensive aspects of the game? I know you're, you're not a guy that's Russell Westbrook size or like a John Wall. How, how do those conversations go with Coach Pierce? I mean, they go great. Um, I mean, he's a, a defensive-minded coach, uh, really, really smart, uh, especially on the defensive end. So just learning from him, learning different schemes, how to guard different players. Um, it's something that I, I take and I learn a lot from him. You had a chance to go out to Tuttle last, you know, yesterday. I yeah. think uh, John was telling me about that. What was that about, and, and what were you trying to do in going out there? Well, uh, I mean, yesterday uh, I went to see my old high school coach. Uh, he's coaching at Tuttle now, so I uh, just going to see him. And uh, I've been talking to him, and I'm um, a big uh, supporter of his as, as much as he is mine. So I um, just wanted to go say hello and uh, thank him for for everything he did for me uh, to get to this point. So, yeah, to see my old high school coach. You know, when you were in high school, I think there was a, a lot of speculation that you would end up playing somewhere else or, or going to another high school. Mm -hmm. well, what did it mean for you to be able to stay here and be able to finish your high school career here uh, in, in Oklahoma? I mean, it meant, it meant a lot to me, uh, but not only to me, I think it affected a lot of other people um, in this community. Um, I mean, it, it meant a lot to my family to for me to, to say I wanted to stay here and not only play my high school, uh, finish my high school career out here, but play my college career here. So um, I think it meant a lot of people to a uh, meant a lot to a lot of people. So. You were kind of all over yesterday. What it does it mean for you to stay connected when you are back here? I mean, it, it means a lot. Uh, I mean, for me, I, I stay in contact with a lot of people here in Oklahoma. So uh, just trying to I mean, connect to as many people as I can. Uh, I, I mean, it was great for me to be able to go to the Children's Hospital and, and see and see Caleb and his family and not only him but Seth and all the other kids I, I was able to be fortunate enough to meet and um, I mean, put a smile on their faces just as much as they put one on mine. So I was I was happy to be able to do things like that yesterday. What's it like being around Vince Carter every day? <laughs> I mean, it's I mean I don't, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, he's a legend, uh, someone who I mean. Seen everything through this league, so I'm able to ask questions too. I mean, it's, it's great being out with a guy like Vince around uh, from, from being my best. You guys have seen the Thunder already this season. Now 22 games into the regular season. What do you analyze about them, and what do you prepare for tonight? Well, I mean, they're a really good team, uh, one of the best in our league. So uh, they're a very fast-paced team. Uh, they really fly around on defense. I mean, as you can see, it starts with Russ and. Uh, his energy and the crowd's energy. Um, I mean, they have a, a lot of really good pieces and players, so uh, you got to be ready to, to keep, compete and, and try to match the energy of, of this arena and, and uh, their team.